how is everyone doing? This is Anubhav here from Technosaur and welcome to today's video. Now today's video is going to be about the top root apps of 2015. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now in case you're wondering what root is or you don't know whether your device is rooted or not, then you are probably aren't rooted. Now, in order to check the root access on your device, you may want to download an app called Root Checker Basic from the Play Store. As you can see, it says, congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. I'm currently using the Asus Zenfone 5 and the Android version is KitKat or 4.4.2, whatever you want to call it. So this app, what it does, it just verifies your root access in case you know that you're rooted so that if you're not rooted, you won't have to waste your time on this video because all the apps on this video require root. That's why it's known as rooted apps. Okay. Now. The next video, uh, the next, <laughs> I'm sorry, the next app is known as All About Root. Now, this is not a rooted app. What All About Root does is it tells you what is root and why do you need to root your phone, how to verify uh, your uh, rooted device, that is whether it's rooted or not. Now, many of us uh, really don't know what root is. And even for those who do, they don't know the full thing. I used to think that I know how to root, so I know everything about Android. But after installing application, this application my mind blew away because there is so much more that you have to know about root and what it does and everything so as you can see the front home page is divided into uh, many tabs and uh, what you click on what is root you see on many operating systems including unix linux and android the root account is a special user which completes which complete access to all files and commands Various types for this type of account may include administrator, supervisor, or super user. In the context of Android, root access allows the user to have complete control over the device. So you can do anything you want to do with the device because you actually own the device. So root access is commonly granted for devs, allowing them access to commands and files on the device for testing their own applications, of course. But it's not necessary that you have to be a developer to use root. You know, normal people can also use it. Anyways, moving on. The first app is known as Super SU. Now, what is Super SU? Now, Super SU is an app which manage, manages your root commands. Now, it manages your root commands. On other words, it provides root com access to the apps. As you can see, these are the rooted apps that I have installed on my phone. And as this green hashtag means that they are granted root settings now, as you can see access you got many options you got prompt grant grant plus time deny deny plus time and pin code now i'll just do grant and save now this app is not a rooted app it's just very it it just provides the root access to the other app now you can download this from the play store it's uh, you can download it for free now moving on the first rooted app or the first app which requires root access is root explorer now root explorer is an app which acts like a file manager but it acts like a file manager inside the root folder of your android phone now what is the root folder as we read earlier the root folder is the folder which contains all the special access commands and files to your phone which you can use to suit your own needs now through this app what you can do is you can change the build properties of your phone that is you can bring uh, you know you can uh, bring navigation bars that is on the nexus devices the back home and recent key on your on screen uh, soft keys uh, you can change the dpi of your phone and many as such now there is no specific function for this app. You may also use it for many other purposes. So that's it for this app. It's a must have app for all you rooted users. Now the next app is SCR Pro, but I'm not going to click it right now because as you can see, I'm screen recording right now. And if I click it, it's going to stop the recording. So we don't want to do that. But I recommend you to download this app. It's a must have app for recording your screen. It records your screen to different capabilities and it has different settings and it's just awesome. Now, as you can see that I have the pro version. Well, there is a light version for free on the Play Store, but the light version uh, the light version only provides up to three minutes and my videos are longer than uh, three minutes uh, so that's why I really uh, don't 
you know, I, I really don't prefer it. As you can see, it's free in here. SCR screen recorder free. And as you can see, I have purchased the Pro one. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this app. Now the next app is Boot Manager. Now we may have noticed that on different devices, it uh, takes uh, uh, different amounts of time to turn on or to restart. What? Why does this happen? Well, let me explain it to you in simple words. This absolutely happens due to the memory as well as the hardware capabilities of your mobile phone. Now, we know that according to price, uh, the hardware capabilities as well as the chipset and processors di differ from one another. And these, there are a number of apps which tend to start once you which tend to rather run in the background once you switch your phone on so what this app does is you can select the apps which should not be executed during system start so thereby reducing your boot time thereby reducing the time your phone takes to restart itself or to turn on itself and as you can see the red bar means that these apps will not run and boot as you can see facebook gmd immersive now the keyboard you need so you have to you know, I need the lock screen, I need titanium backup, I need tasker, internet booster. So which, whichever apps you need, uh, you know, to start those um, those apps, you can, uh, you know, just leave it. Otherwise, you can just click on these apps. As as you see, it became black. It means that it, it will run during boot. Once you click on it, it becomes red. It means that it won't. So that's it for this app. And it's an awesome app to reduce lag and make your device snappy. Now, the next app is titanium backup, of course. Who doesn't know titanium backup as you see it's asking for super user request I'll just grant it there we go we granted the super user request now who doesn't know titanium backup now titanium backup is the most wonderful app for backing up your device as you can see okay we don't need to read this uh, space and settings super uh, okay uh thank you now as you can see we got the backup and dismiss as you can see uh, suppose i have this game called aliens Di drive me crazy now this app is an awesome backup app so let me just click on this app i'll just back up it backing up let it back up as you can see it is on the notification bar i guess as you can see it's backing up aliens drive me crazy i'm just updating my apps here i don't i really don't want to update uh. so yeah once it gets backed up as you can see backup complete now what we do is we click on it we uninstall it yeah we deleted it there is absolutely uninstall complete we don't have this app anymore if you guys don't believe let me just show you as you can see it should be in a right because uh, they are arranged in alphabetical order so as you can see you can see ac display after android root all about root amazon kindle audio wizard and after that it starts from b i don't have this app anywhere and i've not hidden it so what does titanium backup do well let's open up titanium backup once again as you can see it shows aliens drive me crazy and it has a cross over it click on it click on restore what would you like to restore app only or app plus data so that is the use it restores your data as well so that is awesome it's like i uninstall an app i install a custom rom and suppose i'm on angry birds level number 34 and i uninstall it and the next time i install a new custom rom i i download titanium backup from the play store and i restore it and i can again start from level number 35 so that's the use you won't feel like you're changing over a new phone you have to do everything again this is the future of rooted users let's click on app plus data it's restoring app plus data as you can see install it let it install it's installing well wait right here don't click on the open button otherwise your data is not going to be restored click on done and now it's going to click on and it's now it updated the data so app plus data restore complete for aliens drive me crazy so this was titanium backup the best rooted app ever now the next app is 
system uninstall I guess system app yeah so what this app does is we all know that we buy Android phones from different providers such as Samsung Sony Asus and LG Nexus no, uh, LG is actually Google Moto or Motorola so why do you need this app now the providers or the companies tend to stuff their phones with bloatware now bloatware is nothing but pre-installed apps which are not deletable they are pushed into the system app folder and you can't delete them but you are saved in case you have root access you can delete them and you can do anything you want with your phone that is the beauty of root now as you see remember after you remove bloatware from your phone you cannot update your software update or OTA updates you cannot update your device so I recommend only if you're on the latest Android version or you have no need to uninstall anything I guess and you have no need to update it to lace of you're happy with what you got then I recommend that you use this application because once you delete an app you are not going to get any OTA updates and the only way for you to update is by installing a custom ROM which can sometimes break your device so this is a very dangerous app so I just you know just be alert while using this app so I'm not going to install anything right now so yeah now this is a good app if you want to you know delete the bloatware and your phone space is hogging up just a second guys I'll be back right now now the next sec next app is known as internet booster now what internet booster does as you can see I granted the super user request now what internet booster does is it modifies or rather mods a file in the system and it tells this file to you know improve the internet connection so as you can see it uh, yeah, Internet Booster will change the system ROM configuration for optimize the internet connection with different method. You will have faster internet connection and stable with internet speed boost of around 40 to 70 percent speed than before. Using this application, you will not get 100, 150, or 200 percent speed like other applications claim. Now, as you can see, this varies from network providers, from the phone you're using, as well as the network you're on, that is 2G, 3G, 4G, or Wi-Fi and it does doesn't really matter and it doesn't add it doesn't really and it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter now you know if you just want a little boost of your internet and it is not supposed to work in all cases you can use this app you can just click on activate booster and it's going to boost your internet connection now I'm repeating it again that it is not going to boost your internet connection you're not going to get 4g LTE speeds on Airtel 2g so that's that be realistic it will boost and if not boost at least you'll have a more stable connection than before that's it for this app now the next app is known as Wi-Fi password now what does Wi-Fi password do remember this app does not show you the password of unsaved Wi-Fi networks or it is not a Wi-Fi hacker application what this app does it is is it's that it shows you the password of your Wi-Fi connection and now suppose you're connected to a Wi-Fi long time back and you forgot the password but you want to connect it to another device you can use it to as a Wi-Fi you can use this app if you're rooted to you know get the password from this device of yours which it has itself connected and then you can use it on your other device by knowing the password I recognize this app because once when I went to my penthouse uh, I have a penthouse uh, in uh, Rajasthan so once I went there I had a Wi-Fi network saved in my older phone now as I had bought a new phone the old phone it was just lying around in my bag now when I wanted to connect I forgot the password and neither the family members remembered it because that place is just uh, you know just for weekends and stuff like that whenever we want to go over there so I was wondering and I, I had no 3G left so I had to use that boring old 2G and I used 2G to download this app I searched it in different threads and 
Uh, fortunately, I had root access. I used the Samsung Galaxy S3 and I, uh, you know, I downloaded this application. I took out the password for uh, the Wi-Fi network and I connected it with my Galaxy S3. So that's the beauty, you know, I mean, that's the beauty of Android. That is what you can do with Android and not with iOS. Even if you jailbreak your iOS, I mean, Android is Android. You can't deny that fact, can you? Now, the next app, or in the last app, but definitely not the least, is Greenify. Now, what Greenify does is it, what should I say, it hibernates your app. Battery leaching, memory hogging, and seldomly running apps. Enjoy smooth and lasting experience just like on the first day. Forget about housekeeping. Let Greenify silently do it for you. We all have used apps at some point or the other, like Clean Master, DU Speed Booster. Because our phone has become just so slow and so laggy that we are bound to use this, these apps. Well, with this app, you don't need to worry about it ever, ever again. Now, what this app does is it, it's pretty much like Boot Manager. But Boot Manager stops the apps from running at the start of the booting time. This manager stops it from running every time, thereby releasing your memory. We all know that Facebook runs in the background when we are using Facebook and when we have also removed it from the recent stab. Well, this app, what it does is your Facebook app will be removed from the background and won't run. It is going to hibernate the app. And whenever you want to, you can again not hibernate the app and you can again use it whenever you want to, thereby reducing the memory hog and making your device fast and snappy just like on the first day you bought your phone so that's it for today's roundup guys anubhav here signing out from technosaur and this was the top rooted apps for today goodbye